Hello everyone and welcome to Klein92 TV and looking at that subscriber count we have surpassed 500 subscribers just hours after I posted my channel update where I asked you guys questions for this video we actually surpassed 500 so this video is a little bit overdue I first created this channel last year in April and in a year I was able to get 500 subscribers which is crazy it's not that big for many youtubers but just thinking of how many people 500 people really is that's a pretty big number in itself and you guys are probably wondering why I'm playing on the NBA blacktop and the reason for that is because 2k servers are actually down I went to go play some Milwaukee Bucks my GM I wanted to record a new episode for that because the last time I recorded one of those episodes was I think six or five days ago but since the servers are down I cannot access any game modes with the exception of blacktop and play now and the gameplay you have in front of you right now is actually five of my favorite players up against five of my least favorite players on my team I have Jeremy Lin at point guard Tabo Stefalo at shooting guard, Michael K. Gilchrist at small forward, then I have Anderson Verichau at power forward, and at center I have Andre Drummond, and all of these guys I really like. Obviously, they're not the top five players in the league, but they're good nonetheless, and I couldn't really pick any good players, because in blacktop now, you need to pay VC to play as better players, which I think is kind of stupid, but since all the servers are down, I was not able to buy any players using my VC. On the opponent side of things, they have Raymond Felton that got arrested, and he basically ruined the Knicks organization for that and he made them look so bad at shooting guard they have Danny Green who I think is an extremely overrated player on the Spurs at small forward they have Corey Brewer and I don't like Corey Brewer because my my player was actually on the Timberwolves and he had the starting position even though I was way better than him at power forward they have Cody Zeller who I just don't think is a very productive player on the Bobcats and at center they have the one and only Kendrick Perkins and I think that speaks for itself if you guys remember in my channel update I asked you guys to put any questions that you have for me in the comments below I selected seven of those questions so I will be answering seven of those questions now I also went online and got a random question generator so I will also be answering seven of those questions so I'm gonna go back and forth between your guys questions and the generator one so for the first question that you guys asked was from William C he asked me are you ever gonna finish your series to find out who the best is I'm assuming he's talking about my search for the best series and in case you didn't notice this I actually ended that series about a year ago I ended it in late September I'm pretty sure mainly because the series wasn't really going anywhere it was tough to commentate it because it was just one-on-one -on -one blacktop the entire time that series ended a year ago and I'm not going to continue making videos for it but I think there are still four episodes from that series on my channel you guys can go check them out and I think they really show how much I have grown as a YouTube commentator so that's all there really is to say about that next up is the question from the generator and the first question that I got from that was would I rather lose an arm or or a leg and I would probably pick an arm mainly because I'm really right-handed I do most things with my right hand I can probably do most things alone with my right hand and right arm so having a left arm to me I know it's important to have both arms but when it comes down to it I would much rather be able to walk around rather than not being able to walk and have both arms so I would get rid of one arm more specifically my left arm next up is a question from one of you guys it is from Elsa Rodriguez I hope I pronounced that right and the question is where are you from black or white and he asked for a face cam as well I don't really feel comfortable giving away where I'm from but I can give you guys a picture from myself it's actually used a lot on the internet a lot of people seem to be using this picture as their Google Plus profile picture anyways here it is I hope you guys like that now on to a generated question and it is what is your biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve I could honestly say is the pronunciation of water I know so many people that call it water and I actually had a teacher one year that called it water that would tell us to go out to the water fountain and it would drive me absolutely crazy so that is probably my pet peeve and for all of you that are listening it is definitely pronounced I don't care where you are from it is pronounced water next up we have another question from one of you guys it is from Jay De Niro and it is what format do you render in WMV or MP4 to be honest I'm not the most technical guy despite being on YouTube I don't know that much about technology I just kind of record games and commentate over them but I'm pretty sure I render in MP4 and I hope that helps now on to the third generated question and it is if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life what would it be and that is a pretty tough question because there are a lot of foods that I like to eat but I would need to pick one that is 
somewhat good for me because I know if I pick a junky food that I really like, I'm going to get extremely overweight if I eat that for my entire life. So the one I would probably pick, I would probably pick eggs actually. And I picked eggs just because you have so many ways of cooking them and preparing them, whereas other foods you really don't have that many options. Now on to the fourth question by one of you guys. It is from Blake Ostrowowski. I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. And it is, do you play Xbox One? If so, what is your gamer tag? I think I've said this in a previous video, but I'll say it again. I do play Xbox One. I don't have a PS4, and I'm really happy with getting the Xbox One. In my opinion, it's the better system, but that's just me. It's okay if you guys disagree. And my gamer tag is actually Klein92 Online, and you guys can feel free to go on and try to friend me, and I will probably play against you guys sometime. The next generated question is, what is your favorite meal of the day? I kind of already answered this. I said that if I were to eat one food for the rest of my life, I would pick eggs. So if I say that, obviously, my favorite favorite meal of the day is breakfast. I'm a breakfast guy. The fifth question from you guys is from Phil Hajarski. I think I got that one right. And he asked, if anyone, who inspired you to make videos? And this is actually a really good question. The first videos I ever made were actually comedy videos. I was inspired by Nigahiga. I used to be a really big fan of his, and I'm still a pretty big fan now. But over time, I drifted away from the comedy videos, and I went into gaming videos, and I was most inspired probably by Straight out of Boston. You guys can look him up on YouTube. YouTube. He made an NBA 2K13 association mode with the Utah Jazz and Detroit Pistons and I really liked his series and I thought it would be fun if I could do that too. So the fifth question that I got from the generator is, what is something weird about you? Something weird about me is actually that I used to be a pretty extreme pogo sticker. I used to go into my garage for two to three hours a day and just pogo stick and try to see how long I could stay on my pogo stick without falling off. But I only did that for one to two years, really. The next question is from the user Ganon Ryan, and he asked, if you had to pick one famous YouTuber to meet, who would it be and why? It took me a little bit to think of the answer for this question, and I'm torn between Ian Hecox and Anthony Padilla, both members of Smosh, because I'm really big fans of them, and I think they're insanely funny as well, so it would be fun to hang out with one of them and meet one of them. But I would probably pick Anthony, mainly because I root for him more often in the food battles, and also I think he has a more immature sense of humor, which I think is really funny. The next question from the generator is, have you ever been to an emergency room, and what for. I can't think of an exact time where I remember going to the emergency room, but I do remember my most memorable sports injury, you could call it. I remember playing basketball in my rec league and going up for a layup and having one of the players try to block it, and he actually dislocated my pinky. So I remember running to the sideline and showing my coach that my pinky was basically on a 90 degree angle. So he started running to his car so he could get a first aid kit. Unfortunately, my pinky was hurting so bad that I popped the joint back in its socket, and because because I did that, my pinky is actually permanently damaged. Now I always have a fat section right in the middle of my pinky. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's just going to be there for a really long time. Now we have the final question from the commenters. It is from Ethan Schultz and he asked, can you do more than one series at a time and can I name an MLS team? I'm going to answer the first part of your question first and I probably could do another series at the same time since it is during my summer vacation and I probably could handle two series. It's just that I don't feel like I would be able to fulfill both series and getting a consistent amount of videos out. I like the idea of having one series where I get consistent videos out rather than having two where the videos are a little bit more sparse. Now for the second part of your question, I cannot name an MLS team. I know nothing about MLS or really FIFA and that's why you're probably not going to see much FIFA or MLS video games on this channel. But who knows, maybe down the road I get a little bit more into the sport and I'll start watching it more and maybe then I'll probably upload more soccer related video games. Now time for the final generated question and it is what website do you visit the most? Well, thinking about it, I'm a YouTube commentator that makes YouTube videos playing video games so I would say that the website that I use the most is probably MySpace. So that's the last question I will answer in this video. I hope you guys had a fun time watching this video. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach 500 subscribers. The next goal is 1,000 and I really think we can do it in a couple months. I do have faith in you guys and you guys have just shown me so much support and it's so weird to think in one year I was able to assemble 500 people and it's just cool to see what this channel has become thanks to you guys. It would be very difficult to upload videos without the motivation of knowing that anyone was watching them. It's just great to see that you guys are watching my videos and enjoying to watch them. Anyways, the next goal is 1000. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless you guys.